Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have another Windows 10 build to look at. This is a mobile build. This is build 10536 for phones. Uh, so this is the latest build for Windows Insider. So we've had a long wait, over a month now since the last update so and we're getting closer to the final release of windows 10 for mobile or windows 10 mobile so what's new in this bill well actually this bill was delivered in two updates um it was delivered as bill 10514 and then 10536 so um there was quite a, it took quite a while to get this update installed um i started this yesterday evening and it was sort of some, sometime this morning uh, it was waiting for a timeout uh, for a restart at one stage, so that sort of uh, expanded the time. But essentially, you're doing two upgrades in one. If you're coming from a previous Windows 10 mobile build, if you're coming from Windows Phone 8 one, then you just get the latest build. Uh, so yeah, it take, took a long time. So you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to be patient while you wait for that one. So there are fixes and some visual changes. So I'll show you the main visual change first, and that's usually the one-handed operation. Um, so if you tap and hold here on the start button, you see it brings the top down and you can easily get at these icons at the top there, like that. Um, so I'll show you that again. So you can get the phone dialer and then you can go back or you can hold it down again. Now that was designed for larger phones like the Lumia 1520, so which if I show my 1520 which isn't running Windows Phone 8.1 which is why I'm not demonstrating on there you can't use that with one hand and so with this build now you can hold that down and you can get straight to the top with a single with your thumb so it's a nice little touch actually I quite like that uh, it's a good implementation of, of that uh, to get around the one-handedness on, uh, on, a, on a large green phone so another thing that's changed is an updated photos app you'll see that the hamburger menu on the top left is now gone and um, that's been replaced by settings down here at the bottom but Microsoft say that this app is improved because it um, now has a folder view so I can go to folders so it shows you OneDrive folders this device pictures folder if I had an SD card that would be listed as well so you can see where the pictures are stored which I think is a good idea that's new and they also say that this uh, is now faster and um, for panning and zooming on photos. So um, I should be able to zoom in and zoom around and pan through. And they say all that is faster, which I say it probably is. So that's improved photos app. Also, this build has a lot of fixes in it that uh, of, of problems that were included in the previous build. If you've been playing along at home, watching the videos of the older builds, you'll know that the previous version, Mobile Hotspot, didn't work, and that's been fixed. Uh, voice input's been fixed. Um, like I said earlier, you can go straight from 8.1 to this build now without having to go through multiple steps. Two-factor authentication's fixed. Uh, Quiet hours has been fixed, and the lock screen delay has been fixed as well. So and uh, pinching and zooming on the map has now been fixed. So there are a lot of fixes in it, um, and this, I've got to say, this is working quite well. It's, uh, so I've got the new messaging app in there, that was available for the previous build, but uh, it, it does feel much more stable than the previous builds. The last few builds have actually felt quite good. It's quite fast and smooth going between apps, and this is a low spec 630, so, um, I expect it'll be a lot better on a higher spec device. Edge seems nice and quick now. I have had a couple of issues with it restarting. Um, this did today as I was just starting the video, it just decided to restart. So there are still issues like that. One thing to watch out for if you're um, using it on a 10 uh, 20 is the Lumia camera app is no longer available for Windows 10 mobile, although it will be later in the year. Um, but that means that you can't use the some of the special camera features on the 1020 like the 41 megapixel camera and the DNG support they aren't supported in the w Windows 10 so if you do need those uh, those extra photo features you're going to uh, for the 1020 then you're going to want to stick on Windows 481 for now so overall it does feel like a nice stable build it's it feels nice and fast um, not too many issues with it mobile hotspot works and things like that so I think it's close to getting to uh, the state where you can install it on your main phone. Still have issues with the upgrade, like I said, it took 
good few hours to get it up installed and it was 0% for ages and uh, I think on your main farm that like, may maybe it want me to hold off for now but uh, I don't think it's that long now so we can start to use this on our main devices so keep watching our YouTube channel for more videos and we'll see you on the dishlifestyle.com